Hi guys, this is Ban. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys a build that I've been working on and I have to say it turns out a lot better than I have expected. I'll be showing you guys some highlights towards the end and Uber Elder Q. Which I kinda screw up. I have two deaths and they were totally my bad, which I think I should have done or executed better. So this is an incinerated cast while channeling Firestorm with 3 cars when damage taken set up. The main highlight of this build is to be able to tank almost everything and not worry about dying. Though the amount of times that I have died is uncountable due to the sheer amount of attempt to try different variations to make this build possible and as tanky as I could and I do damage when I say I do damage I mean I do about you know 2 million to 2.5 million shaper damage you can tank almost everything except one shot skill mechanic and legions at T15 T16 <coughs> legions hit really hard so you need to move more around to dodge certain skills so let's talk about gears um, the most important item for this build is glorious vanity which I will explain later why and then um, two rings Phenomous boots watch your eye with energy shield gain for each enemy hit while affected by discipline and presence of chayula you can go dual wheel if you want to but i strongly recommend two hand staff with cast while channeling so that you can go saveling for this setup the perfect mods for this staff would be um, to have a single mod with a uh, cast while channeling to do that you need to allow it to just one mod and then have multiple crafted mods plus two to support gems um, cast speed double damage spell damage with non chaos damage as extra chaos damage like this would be the perfect stuff for this build back to glorious vanity you have to find one <coughs> so sorry you have to find one with Doriani variant the seed number is not that important because the most important thing that you are looking for is corrupted soul corrupted soul means the damage taken half of it will goes to your life pool and another half will goes to your ES so how do I tackle this problem or rather making use of the advantage is by using life gain on hit for spells and then ES gain on hit through watcher eye and phenomenal boots keeping up on the number of hits is important thus presence of Chayula is necessary as well um, solely for the stun immunity and it kind of complements the build really well because it actually gives it doesn't really give um, like extra energy shield but you know uh, it actually convert 20% of max life to ES which is why I have such a high um, effective HP pool I'm sitting at about 8.5k EHP right now so things to look out for the rings so ideally you want to have um, life gain for each enemy hit by your spells and then one of them should have assassin mark on hit the rest is pretty much whatever you need right um, the minus mana cost of skills is important ideally you want to have 2 minus 9 so that the mana cost for incinerate is literally free 
Right now it's three. I I'm able to sustain it pretty well. Like it's not really depleting, but yeah, I really try to have two minus nine total cost of mana. If you have some budget constraint, then I guess you know minus nine and minus seven is fine. So I have included some max calculation on how you how much ES gain on hit and how much life gain on hit you can do. Um, like at optimal situation, you are gaining about 775 life and 1.3k ES on hit. That's on hit. I didn't factor in the life leech and the energy leech. So I'm leeching at I'm gaining life and ES for a total of 2k and that's being conservative. So yeah, you will be able to see the the amount of leech I'm getting towards the end about on my highlight. So I'm gonna give you a slight breakdown on the cost. The staff should cost about 10 to 15x. If you self-craft it, it should be slightly cheaper. The Watcher Eye is about 1.5 to 2x. This ring, you need to multi-mod it, so it's about 4x. And the other ring, it should be fairly cheap unless you were going for the minus nine, the tier one mana cost of skills. <coughs> Um, Chayula, I think I bought it under 1x the time when I was looking, so I'm pretty sure you can get it at 1x. Like, if you don't have life leech from Chayula, it's fine because you are you can get leech from Aziri Promise. Like, even if your flask is down, you have this two ring to sustain the life pool. And then the rest of the gears is actually pretty affordable. I'll say the rest, you probably need like, you know, one to two X. So if you were to get like, if you really want to min max, I'll say a rare glove, fingerless glove would be better. Cause you can get aspect of spider craft here. Like I have one open suffix here. Right. And if you want more additional energy shield leech, you can change this to this mod here. Energy shield on Val. Another 120. So you like, you are gaining like, you know, almost 210 ES just by doing nothing, just by running near him, which is pretty huge. Alright, so I'm gonna show you my POB to see some numbers. I'm here to show you. So I have a pick max power charge. Like it's really easy to hit max power charge. And I'm leeching. I'm always leeching. I'm usually taking damage. So I'm leeching most of the time. Infusion active. Spider stack 3. And conviction exposed to fire. And yeah, it's a shaper in guardian damage. So I'm doing like you know, two million damage when my incinerate is at maximum stage, and firestorm is about fifty k. I would say you know you are doing like six to nine hits per second from firestorm easily. So that would be like another close to you know. 350 to 500k damage from Firestorm. So that's like about 2.5 million. I'm sure Firestorm hits a lot more, but you know, I'm just trying to be more realistic and conservative. So yeah. Just to let you guys see about the setup. So usually I'll just change increase AoE to Compact. For bossing. I only use Conk Effect for T16 Guardians and UE itself. The rest I don't really do it. Um 
yeah i would have one uh cast and damage taken as high as possible so that you know um this steel skin is pretty good for defensive uh purpose and then wave of conviction armor graden brand yeah these two are at level one cast when damage taken because i want them to proc as much as possible so yeah uh, the reason why i have firestorm at here and here as well is because i want to really you know get as many hits as possible and for auras i have hero of ash flash and stone discipline with enlightened for honestly you just need you know enlightened to 47 ma like mana is enough for you to flame dash to proc uh, arcane search and enough for you to cast incinerate so I, i'm pretty sure like uh where's my aura enlightened tree should be somewhat attainable I keep precision at level one because you know it gives like it's literally free 40% increased crit strike chance so why not right and yeah so that's right um the reason why I use raid nightmare at here is because it gives you about 20% chance to gain an endurance charge on kill like the reason why i took raid nightmare is purely for legion because three endurance charge would mean about 12 percent fees reduction and i think i did pretty well surviving all the onslaught from legion if you want to be really a bit slightly tankier just switch silver flask to basalt flask and you should be perfectly fine so coming to the end of the build video i'm just gonna briefly go through the pros and cons the pros is this build has great tanking capability and sustainability and it does about you know 2 to 2.5 million shaper damage which is pretty fucking awesome but um the cons is okay one last thing for the pros is you can basically do almost all content so Moving to cons, um, it's definitely not leak starter viable and it's not a fast map clearer. And you can only clear about 70% of the Legion mobs after Monolith activation. So the last con is it takes time to wind up damage and wind up your maximum ES and life leech. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys like this video. Do drop by my Twitch stream as I stream almost every day and show some support. Thank you all for watching once again. Until next time. Let's try, let's try. I'm actually curious as well. Mm. Yo, let's look. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> that's actually decent, man. Holy shit. Yo, 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 this is good, this is good, looking good, I'll say like, what should I say, oh my god, <laughs> fuck on me,
Can I get the? Yeah, I got it. Oh yes, fine. <laughs> What? Totally didn't see that coming. Uh... Right, I have seventy four cold rest. Yikes. <laughs> This is to, to make the game, you know, a little bit harder. Panic there, yo. Die twice. I think the fight is slightly easier compared to the one that I do. Like the dual wheel one, pure incinerate. This is somewhat easier. Somewhat sketchy, but I think with enough practice, you can do it deathless. <laughs> 